Hey, what's up internet? So I designed and 3D printed a camera slider, fully 3D printed, don't gotta go buy parts. Let's check it out. I sure could use some help. Hey man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay, so if you don't know what a camera slider is, you could check out Hardware Canucks on YouTube and they use a camera slider in a lot of their videos looking at things uh, computer related and it just, it's like buttery smooth. It looks great. I was like, man, I want one of these things. This is awesome. And if you look through the guy's videos, he talks about his equipment. It's like 600 bucks for the slider he's got. And I don't, I don't have $600 anymore. I spent it all on a Dremel 3D printer. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing. Let's blast over all the parts. It's got the end screws, the end plates, the threaded tube portions. You put them together, you make the bars. It's got this piece I like to call the center case, the center. It's got a large threaded hole for other things like a center support. It also has rollers or wheels, a slide that you put the rollers on, and yeah, that slide also has a threaded hole. It's got these optional pieces, I'll call them uh, middle supports. And I don't use them, they're there to keep uh, the support in the middle. but. Uh, they don't really work out that well. That's all the parts. There it is. You can download this from Thingiverse. Same as the video, try to help you, is my name, username, gamer tag. Is that a gamer tag? Don't expect $600 performance, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing. I'm not a fan of sanding things that are 3D printed just because I don't like that idea, but I did have to break down and sand the rollers due to their little like concave area when it started getting towards the top the plastic started drooping on the outside as you can see and so I sanded it and uh, yeah I had to or, or else it was a very very unsmooth operation so yeah here's some test footage we can look at and for what it is it's pretty smooth I got a picture here that I took of some math uh, all the parts lined up how long they took how much PLA material they used in meters and, and then multiplied that so on the right there you can see what it all adds up to it took 26 hours to print this thing and it used 133 meters roughly so that's under a roll of the Dremel brand filament so under 30 bucks <laughs> a lot of hours I didn't work out how many watts you could probably do the math if you went online and figured out how much electricity it uses. I had a rev, like a Rev 1 slider. It didn't work out well. It looks kind of like a table. The kid plays with it now and he calls it his table. Uh, it didn't print very well, and especially with the fill. So I printed the second design of the slider uh, to use less material, but also I used the hexagonal fill uh, feature in the Dremel software, and that actually it makes it like way more flexible and, and I highly recommend using that as a fill. As for the tubes, they screw together and they're like, they're perfect. Like, oh, it's awesome. Oh, well, the program I used to design this primarily was 123D Design or 123 Design by Autodesk. I'll link that uh, down below. If you're curious about uh, the Dremel 3D printer, the idea builder that they're selling, I've got an unbox and set up video out right now and I'm still working on compiling information to do a pros and cons video and also a review like a full review as for the slider it's got that threaded hole and that'll be for like various different kinds of mounts to go in so I'm going to be designing a few of those and when I upload the slider shortly after I'll also upload additional things feel free to design your own as well or reach out to the community and say hey I want a threaded GoPro mount let's say ooh hmm. maybe if I get a GoPro I'll make one of those <laughs>
if you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you're just bored, go ahead and cruise the channel. I got a few 3D printed related videos or other things that can help you out in life. You should check it out. Anyway, I hope that helps. See you later, Internet. I sure could use some help. Hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand.